Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. This week's video is going to be a quick one. How to get Autodesk Inventor to remain in the workplane command until you tell it to exit. Since it's quick, let's just jump right in. First, the default behavior. I'm going to place two work planes. The first is going to be on an axis and at a negative 45 degree angle to my plane. But the default behavior is to immediately exit the command. So I have to either reactivate the command or right click and repeat the work plane to place my second work plane, which is tangent and parallel to that first work plane. Maybe that's not a big deal, but wouldn't it be nice if we could get Inventor to stay inside the work plane command until we're done? There is a way to get Inventor to do that, and it's actually quite easy. I'm going to start the work plane command just like I did before. But before I do anything, I'm going to right click and find the option to repeat command. I'll select it and it's going to check. If I right click again, I can see that it's checked. And all I have to do now is place my work planes like I did before. But now I'm still in the work plane command, so I can keep going until I'm ready to finish at which point I can right click and hit cancel or hit escape and exit the command. I can also do the same thing for work axes and work points, the same options there if you start the command, right click and look for repeat command. Maybe it's not a big thing, but it's a thing that I like to do. It just makes it flow easier. Isn't that what it's all about? That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch everybody.